Please choose what training you want to go through. I will explain about moving. Jelty is controlled by input from the left stick. Press the Y button to ascend. Press the A button to descend. Press RT while moving to dash. Holding down RT keeps you dashing. This is very effective to move quickly or dodge enemy attacks. Ending the explanation about moving. Jehuti is set up not to do that right now. I will explain about normal attack. When the enemy is at long distance range, the lock-on marker turns green. It turns red when the enemy is at close range. When the target is distant, press the X button, which will fire a shot. In a close range battle, you will initiate a slashing attack by pressing the X button. Ending the explanation about normal attack. Jehuti is set up not to do that right now. I will explain about dash attacks. Press the X button while dashing to perform a dash attack. In a close range battle, a dash attack becomes a dash blade. In a long distance battle, you can lock on to multiple enemies by pressing the X button. You can fire a homing laser by releasing it. Using homing lasers consumes sub-gauge power. The longer you hold down the X button, the more enemies you can lock onto. If you destroy multiple enemies at once, your sub-gauge will be restored even more. Ending the explanation of the dash attack. Set up not to do that right now. I will explain about burst attacks. When Jehuti is not moving, you can change to burst mode by pressing RT. You can perform burst attacks by pressing the X button in this mode. A close range burst attack is a burst blade attack. A long distance burst attack is a burst shot. By holding down the X button, you can charge power for a burst shot. Burst attacks are very powerful and penetrate the enemy's guard. 
A burst shot consumes subgauge power. Ending the explanation of burst attacks. I will explain how to guard yourself. By pressing RB, Jehuti takes a guard position and can block enemy attacks. But not all attacks can be blocked. You cannot guard yourself from enemy burst attacks or grab attacks. Ending the explanation about guarding. I will explain how to switch between locked targets. When Jehuti gets close enough to an enemy, Jehuti locks on automatically. If there are multiple enemies, you can select an enemy to lock onto by pressing LT. You can switch between locked targets by using the right stick. You can deselect the target by holding down LT. Ending the explanation of switching lock targets. I will explain about the ring radar. When an enemy gets close to Jehuti, the ring radar appears. The ring radar turns green when the enemy is far away. It turns orange when the enemy gets closer. The size of the ring radar represents the distance from the enemy. When an attack from outside the screen approaches Jehuti, a red ring radar appears. In this case, the marker shows the direction and distance of the incoming attack. The closer the attacker gets, the larger the ring radar becomes. Ending the explanation of the ring radar. I will explain about Combo Smash. In a close range battle, you can perform a Combo Smash with a normal blade attack. Press the X button three times consecutively. If the fourth press is the X button, you will slash and push back the enemy. If the fourth press is the Y button, you will slash and toss up the enemy. If the fourth press is the A button, you will slash and throw down the enemy.
By pushing an enemy to a wall, ceiling, or floor, you can cause additional damage. Ending the explanation of combo smash. I will explain about camera control. If you are not locked on, Jehuti will move in the direction of the left stick. If you release the left stick, the camera will capture Jehuti from behind. You can also change the camera angle with the right stick. When aiming at a certain spot to attack, you can move the target marker with the right stick. Ending the explanation of camera control.